Number 12, find the area under the curve in the first quadrant. Y equals x e to the negative x. So we are looking at, this is x e to the negative x, and we want the area under the curve only in the first quadrant. So I'm actually looking for this region right here. And if I'm looking for an area, we know the area is an integral. It's going to go from an x value of 0. And then notice this one, it just keeps going and going and going. And so it actually doesn't ever hit. So we're going to have it approach infinity. And then the curve that I'm looking at is x e to the negative x dx. Okay, now from here, this is an improper interval because we can't actually plug in infinity. So we are going to change this to the limit. So it's going to be the limit as w approaches infinity of 0 to w of x e to the negative x dx. Okay, from here, I chose to do integration by parts. So I let my u equal x, which would make my du equal 1 dx, and then my dv would be e to the negative x. The integral of that would be negative e to the negative x. Actually, that included the dx. All right, so if I do integration by parts now, I'll have uv, so I'll have negative x e to the negative x minus the integral of v du, and I notice that v is negative, so it's going to turn this answer out front to a positive, e to the negative x dx. Okay, now I can take the integral of that second part, so I'm going to have negative x e to the negative x. Um, the d integral of e to the negative x will be negative e to the negative x. Okay, I'm ready to evaluate it at my endpoint, so it will be at 0 and w. So if I plug in w, I'm going to get negative w e to the negative w minus e to the negative w, so that will be my first part, and then minus um, 0 times um, infinity, and we're going to have an issue with that in just a second. If I plug in 0 in here, e to the 0 is just going to be 1, so this is going to be minus 1. Okay. My problem is right here because 0 times infinity is an indeterminate form, so we are not allowed to do that. So what I am going to try to do on this one is change it so that I can use um, L'Hopital's rule on it. And so if I do, well, wait, oh, just a second, I don't have to do that right now, because I was just plugging in 0. So if I plugged in 0, I'd get 0 times 1, which is 0, so ignore that comment. So I'm going to end up having negative w, e to the negative w, minus e to the negative w, and then this will end up being plus 1, okay? So now, from here, we want to take this, and we're trying to find the limit as w approaches infinity. Okay, so if we let w approach infinity, now here's where the discussion is going to come into play. This would end up being negative infinity times zero, but that is an indeterminate form, so we cannot do that. So to find this limit, we're going to try to use L'Hopital's rule on it, but notice it's not a fraction. But if I rewrite it, rewrite my limit sign, if I rewrite that, that I could rewrite that as negative w over e to the w, because that's a negative power, I can bring it to the bottom and make it positive. Now notice if I plug in infinity, I'm going to get negative infinity over infinity, which sets me up to be able to use L'Hopital's rule. So now if I take the derivative of the numerator, I'll get negative 1 over the derivative of e to the w is just e to the w. Now if I plug in infinity, I'm going to get 0. So that answer will be, that whole answer will be 0. Okay, and we still had minus e to the negative w, which I've done nothing with. If I plug infinity in here, e to the negative infinity will approach 0, so that one will just be minus 0. So this whole limit was just 0, so I ended up getting 0. Don't forget that we have this plus 1 hanging out here, so the 0 plus 1 will be 1. So the area under that curve is 1.